a must-see video for you today. Don't miss this incredibly awkward moment when these three, they are the medal winners for women's weightlifting in the Olympics in Tokyo. They were asked a question about Laurel Hubbard, the first transgender Olympian who just so happened to be competing alongside them in weightlifting, and it got weird. Don't miss this video. I'm going to play it in just a second. But first, I got to lay down a couple of basic facts so everybody knows what's going on. Just 30 seconds here. Weightlifter Laurel Hubbard became the first out transgender woman to compete at the Olympics and failed to register a lift. Now, this seems strange to people. There was a lot of controversy around this. And Laurel Hubbard is said to be a pretty private person. So the New Zealand weightlifter shows up at the Olympics and failed on three attempts. One was at 120 kilograms. The other one, or the other two rather, were at 125 kilograms. Why is it strange that Laurel Hubbard could not lift 120 and 125 kilograms in those two tries? Because to win her way in to the women's super heavyweight division for the Tokyo Olympics, she lifted 285 pounds. So to get into the Olympics in Japan, she lifted 285 pounds, but couldn't lift even 120 when the Tokyo Olympics were on. So that said, these are the three who ended up taking uh, gold, silver, and bronze. And they were asked a question by a reporter about Laurel Hubbard. It got weird. First, a little extra context. You'll see that they are very verbose. They were talking and answering another question before. Then you'll hear the awkward part. It's Kevin Farley from the International Weightlifting Federation. This is for Emily. Uh, you went to the United States earlier this year and you trained side by side with Sarah in Utah. What was that experience like uh, then and now when you are competing on the same Olympic stage? Just a regular um, yeah, question. It was fantastic. Um, I was really honored to be invited out to the States to train with the guys and especially Siri, you know, we, we get on really well. Um, we're very like minded people. Um, and it was just really, you know, inspiring to push each other and um, to get each other ready for these Olympics. And, you know, I'm absolutely thrilled that I managed to share a podium with her because she's uh, she's a real sweetheart. OK, here we go. It was a historic night here. Uh, with Laurel Hubbard competing as the first openly transgender in a uh, in a uh, individual event, and I was wondering, you know, what you felt about that, and what you felt that, that it took place in in your sport. No, thank you. No, thank you Kevin is the response after all of that. No, thank you. They say. They all sat there, and they had just answered at length another question. So it wasn't as if they were scared of talking. And none of the women who were in this weight class in which Laurel Hubbard, the transgender Olympian, competed, wanted to say anything about that. What does that say to you? Let me know what you think this message is to mean in the comments Historic below. Night here, uh, just count with this. Laurel Hubbard competing as the first openly transgender in a uh, in a uh, individual event. And I was wondering, you know, what you felt about that and what you felt that, that it took place in in your sport. One, one, two, one, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, thank you. Ten seconds Kevin before we get a no, thank you. We have nothing to say about that right now. Women's weightlifting, after the medals were given out, after the podium, they say an Olympics reporter was met with silence when he asked the women's weightlifting podium about Laurel Hubbard. Hubbard's the first openly transgender athlete to compete at the Games. An Olympics reporter was met with awkward silence. The gold medal winner, uh, medal winner China's uh, Li Wenwen, the silver medalist Britain's Emily Campbell, and the bronze medalist U.S.'s Sarah Robles were speaking at a media event after the competition. Lee set Olympic records in the snatch, 140 kilograms, and the clean jerk, 180 kilograms, to claim the championship with a 320 total lift in kilograms. And they said uh, it was also notable because of the participation of Laurel Hubbard. Well, they didn't seem to be too excited about that participation. And now, as for Laurel Hubbard, uh, Laurel Hubbard had her, had her moment. Now she'd like her privacy. I'm looking forward to this being the end of my journey. A barrier-breaking weightlifter says after an excruciating week in the spotlight. So a failed performance at the Olympics. And these three women don't seem to have a whole lot to say about their fellow competitor. What do you make of that silence? Uh, share this video to spread the word. I always appreciate when you hit that share button. And if you're new around here, if you want videos just like this every single day to start a great conversation in your life or a terrible one, who knows? 
It gets dangerous down in the comments sometimes. Just subscribe. Facebook.com slash the news junkie. Hit that follow button and to be part of the quest to 80,000 now. We're on our way to 80,000 followers. YouTube.com slash the news junkie. Please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I again look forward to your comments and we'll talk to you again real soon.